Welcome to my channel. In the previous tutorial, we have created the full login app UI. Today, we will be applying responsive UI for email validation. For a complete view of today's responsive UI, you can check out to the YouTube shots in this channel. You can get the login app with email validation source code from the GitHub link in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. So here we have created a text field for email. When we enter any characters, currently there is no any rejects validation applied, which we doesn't know the input is a valid email format or not. So firstly, we will be creating a validate email address function. This function will return a boolean indicating that if it is a valid email format or not. This function will take a string input. In the function, I have prepared an email validation rejects. Next, we will check if the input string match the email rejects. If it's match, we will return true, else we will return false. So now we have completed our validate email address function. Now we have to apply this validate email address function in the text field widget on change function parameter. Due to the reuse of the input form widgets for email and password, for the function, we have to check if the title is email to apply the validation for email text field only. Another objective of today's tutorial is to apply responsive UI. To achieve that, we will store the response from validate email address function to a is email valid boolean and according to the boolean value, we will display different UI. And by default, the is email valid boolean will be set to false. If the input value is empty, we will set the is email valid boolean to true. Else, if the input value is not empty, we will apply the validate email address to the input value. And according to the return value from the validate email address function, we will set the is email valid boolean to the respective value. So now we have completed the onChange function for the text field. Now we will be creating the responsive UI. It will be applied to the border of the text field. So we have a boolean that keeps track of the email valid status and when the status change, the UI will change accordingly. And again, due to the reuse of the widgets, firstly we have to check if these widgets belongs to the email field. So here we will have three types of border color. When the input field is empty, it will show default gray color. If the input field is invalid format, it will show red border. Else if it's a valid format, it will show green border color. And now we have implemented responsive UI. 
we can test it out in the simulator. So when the email text field is empty, the border is gray color. And when I type in any character, it becomes red because it's failed the email validation. And when it becomes a valid format, the border change to green automatically. And this is how we implement email validation with responsive UI in Flutter. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.